Hey fellas, I just finished a propane natural gas upgrade to my Coleman ProGen 5000. Thought I'd give you a quick overview. This this upgrade took me two hours because I was real careful. I didn't know I had to read all the directions, etc. But probably could get it done in an hour. Real happy with the kit. Um, the kit is from Century Fuel Products. You can read the uh, website information. Basically, it uh, adds propane or natural gas capability to a gasoline-only generator. There's a, from the propane tank up, there, they include a high-pressure to low-pressure propane regulator. The hose and all the couplings. Comes up the hose through this coupling and goes into this uh, control unit which basically is a propane regulator when there's no demand no suction on the suction side of the engine the propane regulator is closed so that it won't leak propane out um, and when it starts there's a suction on this side which draws a diaphragm a large diaphragm toward the suction side it opens up a small orifice that lets the propane in. Propane goes in, comes up through this fitting, which is basically a valve. This is adjusted after you get uh, the unit running for the load you're going to have on it, or roughly the load you're going to have on it. Comes down this pipe, which is also included, through this little little uh, addition right here. Basically, it's a donut with a venturi hole on the inside that just you take off the air cleaner put this on there's a couple of studs that they include to extend the studs from the carburetor out uh, put the put the filter back on and you're ready to go so I'm gonna give it a quick start here the way you uh, prime it is, I don't know if I can get it right here, you can see right there, there's a little spring and a, and a little thumb or finger button, you push that and that just opens up the regulator just for a second and allows some propane to go through. So we'll do that, we'll come around, now I haven't started this yet today, so it's, it's on. Give it a quick pull. Sorry for the motion. Okay. A little bit more propane. About a three seconds. Okay, I didn't want to talk over the engine because you wouldn't have been able to hear me anyways, but uh, it sounds a little rich, right? It's skipping a little bit, and that's because it's at idle, or at run speed, with no load on it. And when there's a load, the engine would have to work a little harder, and it would draw a little more propane. So it's adjusted so that it's a little rich with no load on it. With any kind of load, it smooths right out. So that's it. Really happy with the way it went on. And um, now I can store bottles of propane instead, instead of having to worry about gasoline that uh, degrades over time. And I'll be ready for an emergency. So that's the conversion. If you have any questions, leave me a comment or a question on uh, the website. Thanks.